So my name is Joe Duvall. I work for Honeywell Aerospace. I'm the uh, site leader and chief pilot for the uh, operation that runs the 757 behind us. What we call it is a generic flying test bed. And what that means is it's a flying test bed or a flying facility to test all those products that Honeywell Aerospace makes. And in generic means that we're not just testing one thing and we're not necessarily doing anything specifically for a 757. We might be making something for general aviation or business aviation or other airliners. So we'll have, uh, of course, we'll have two pilots. It's a minimum. We have a, an, an engineering station in the back that's uh, got about five seats in it. And then there's another engineering station that's got another two seats. And those are generally full. So we've got you know anywhere from seven to 10 people or so that would be on a, on a flight crew. And, and actually, normally, we don't do just one type of test on any flight. You know, we might be doing an engine test flight, but on that same flight, we might be doing weather radar or, or some other kind of test. It takes us a while to modify the airplane for any project we're working on, for instance. Uh, obviously, we have a turboprop installed. That's a, you know, for business aircraft or general aviation aircraft. And uh, we, we can test anything that Honeywell makes. We got a lot of questions about what is the engine for, why is it there, there's a lot of theories about it. The number of engines that we've tested, the, the HTF series of engines have all been uh, developed on this airplane and our previous airplane. So if you're talking about a G280 or a, an Embraer Legacy 450-500, those engines were developed on this airplane. We have our interview RDR-4000 weather radar, which is a, primarily an airline one, but that's also in larger Gulfstreams and and other air, uh, airline products that was fully developed on this plane. And we have other airplanes in our fleet that participate in that development as well. Uh, we have smart landing, smart runway systems. And there's a number of other things too. There's quite a bit of work we get involved in. We're kind of like Honeywell's first customer. You know, we're gonna beat them up. We're gonna make sure that they're robust and ready for consumption by the regular consumer and by airlines or, or Boeing or whoever might be uh, purchasing the products. So it's also, it's not just the flight crew, it's mechanics and maintenance people. Uh, you know, you could talk about dispatchers and everybody that's kind of using those systems, making sure that it's ready to go and it works efficiently and good for the customer. It's kind of a cool job because we get to see all the, the newest, latest and greatest stuff, but we have a, you know, a big responsibility to make sure that it's ready to go and robust and uh, meets all the certifications and things, of course, before we uh, send it out to the public. So.